Hello and welcome to Talking Tottenham. That was shit. That was worse than shit. <clears throat> We're playing like a League One team who have just come up from League Two and trying to stay and stabilise in that League One. We we have we are playing so bad. We have to change now. This football is not working. Unless you have Harry Kane, then it sort of works. But then you can't rely on one player. Well, sometimes two. When Kane's there, Son turns up. Kane's not here, Son ain't turning up at all. He's a whole different player. It's just fucking stupid. We there's a there's a bit that's stuck in my head from the first half where we had a bit of pressure. They had the ball in and around that area in our final third. Blah blah blah. We got it out. We got a free kick on it. At the halfway line, near enough. Right? Right. So you're thinking, cool. Let the defender take it. Aurier, because it's on the right hand side, I think. Let Aurier take it, or whatever. And relieve the pressure a little bit. We played it back to the centre back, we played it back to the lorries, who ended up booting it forward to the halfway line, near enough, just over it, and we lost the ball. What? What the fuck? If we're going to do this long ball bollocks, we might have done the whole hog and gone full fucking Stoke style. We should have got the free kick on the halfway line, sent the fucking centre backs forward if we're going to play long balls. We might as well have done that. Put about two of them in the box. Vinicius, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Just do it long if you're going to do it that way. Fuck it. We're half and half. We don't know what we're doing. We're either booing it long. And for some strange reason, Vinicius weren't really winning headers today. It's really he won a couple of things, but he just lost it straight away. It was pretty poor. Give him a chance, obviously, but yeah, you know, whatever. Um, but if you're gonna do it like that, fucking do it, long ball properly. Fucking just boot it into the box, get everyone forward. That's the only chance you're gonna score, or maybe a knockdown. Then someone else gets on the end of it. Fucking pathetic. Absolutely disgraceful. I hate this. I hate it now. So Mourinho's not going to last the season. I watch. It's, it's so bad. <laughs> it started off so positive as well this season. It's really fucking nosedive real quick. I don't know how... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what was just fucking... Just a... <laughs> Straight down. It's been shocking. It's only been like that. It's been... A huge drop-off in performances, man. It's just... It's so bad. What He's meant to be one of the best managers around, apparently, and all that stuff, yeah? And he's, well, he's one of the most successful managers ever. So... Take that how you take that how you want, but regarding our squad, our defence, and midfield, and at the moment strike force, but we I wouldn't we can't get at the strike force because when we've got Kane and Son, it's all good. But when I'm saying right now, our mid, our defence is a bit all over the fucking place, really. I don't even get me started on that die penalty. That that ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So you're on the floor, he's he's committed himself, he dived in to try and intercept the ball. That didn't happen. Well sort of. Then it, the ball stopped in between him and Werner. He must know the while he's on the floor, and also one of his legs was in and around his own legs, if he moves his right leg, at some point he's going to fucking catch him. And he's going to fall on the floor like a little pansy. And that's what happened, and it's a penalty. Please use your fucking nut. Or whoever was near him, near enough to the ball, either Hoiberg or Alderweil, they should have been coming across. They saw he was on the floor and in trouble, and he wasn't getting up the fucking dickhead. He's laying there like a fucking uh, turtle on its back. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Laying there like a prat. 
God's sake, this is so shit. This fucking everything's shit. And then even some of the chants they created, this space. I was like, this is so... No one gives a fuck. No one deserves to be wearing that shirt at the moment. Not one of them. Not one of them. It's shit all over. Luis has been off form. Our right back's been shit. Whoever it has been, even though Sosoko played recently as well. He's been shit. He's, not everyone's scared of the ball to take the ball on and take it around the player. In central midfield, everywhere. It just looks like everyone's scared. There's no confidence. It's fucking shock. shocking and shit. <sighs> I don't know. I'm just fucking. I'm fed up. I'm fucking sick of this shit. We we can't just be a long ball slash counter attacking team. Okay, Mourinho's got used to the team and he's sort of figured out how we're gonna play because he he goes into a team. He he looks at the team, the players he's got, and how we can play. <clears throat> this team should be able to press. I don't care what anyone fucking says. First off, you're fucking athletes nowadays. You're not just a fucking football player. You're athletes. Run around, you cunt. Own your money. Fucking press. And today, when we did do a little bit of fucking pressing, which is fucking... It was like 25% nothing. They looked like they always had the extra player on the pitch. They always had their man in space. Every time we had the ball, it was like they had extra man on the fucking field again. It's like... They had it perfect. We was all fucked up. We had no movement. It's like when some one of our players gets the ball, one of the opposite player who's closest to him, our player, doesn't make a movement side to side. They've sort of gone in, pass it, while Chelsea man might have fucking move and try and stop the lane of pass. Well, you fucking move as well, cunt. Move. You're not stuck in this line. You can't fucking move left, right and all that shit. You cunt. All of them. All of them fucking shit cunts all over the fucking place. Do your fucking nothing. Shit. Shit, this ain't good enough. <sighs> it's weird how it's changed because a few months ago I was like, yeah, give Mourinho the time and all that shit. Maybe this season, if not next season. But this is so bad. We can't accept it. We got we need a manager who can get our team to play a certain way. I said to you before the Brighton game, Brighton were playing good football. They did. They beat us, they've beaten Liverpool. What the fuck? Southampton do play good football. Yes, they got spanked 9 0. Didn't help that they had 10 men for 90 minutes, basically. Yeah, but still, man, we, we've been missing something. Well, actually, we're missing quite a few things. Oh. We need about two or three centre backs. Real ones, yeah? Not fucking. Blah blah blah. Toby Woodwell was on his way out, but he's still good enough. Keep him. Dyer, we thought Mourinho was going to get the best out of him. He can speak Portuguese and all this business. Blah blah blah. He's going to be a fucker who would run through fucking brick walls and all this shit for Mourinho. It ain't happened properly yet, has it? And I don't think it's going to. We've had the little period of up, down, up, down, up, 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 and then it's gone back down. So bollocks. Joe Roden looks good for the future. I don't know what's going on with Tanganga, why he ain't playing, I don't know, he's fucking, he tries, he loves the, the club. <sighs> Regulon will be the left back in the future, not Davis, when he's fit. Right back, I still don't show who the fuck's number one, because they're both different. And they both have worries over, or question marks over there defending to me. <clears throat> um... We've got to start looking for a new goalkeeper because Lewis is getting older. <laughs> oh god. I can see it's getting better than the next few years. And by then, Kane's going to be like, well I'm fucking tired of this bullshit, not winning real things. I'm fucking off. Then we're going to be fucked. Depending on how we reinvest the money. We have fucked. We fucked up our best opportunity. Under Pochettino. When they all was playing well, everyone was pressing, it was good football, attacking, creative, all that shit. And we didn't invest for like properly for it seemed like two summers. One summer we didn't spend on none. No one. That was fucked up. All this moving to a new stadium, bollocks and fucking shit. <sighs> Whatever. Then 
I don't know who the fuck we brought in after that, but it was a bit shit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know what to, I don't know fully what to say anymore. It's just awful. Shocking these poor performances from everyone though. Hoiberg was just about keeping it himself alright, but now it, it seems like he's lost some of his thingy. Whatever his performances has dipped. And I can understand it. He's been trying, but. Ugh. Soko, shocking. Winks ain't better. Fucking Lamella come on today. Lucas come on. Bergwijn ain't doing shit. Sun ain't doing shit. Finishes. I can't be too hard on him. It's his first real bit of a go. But for a big guy, he must be winning more headers and shit like that. Or holding up the ball better. I don't care if you're young. You're a big guy, fucking hold the ball up and pass it on. Mm. Davis and Sissoko kept losing, kept looking scared on the ball all night tonight. It's just shocking. I don't know what I think we we could have a big fucking collapse and be like fucking Leeds. <laughs> That's to a certain friend of mine. <laughs> We could do a Leeds and fucking fuck up and go in the championship. Maybe even League One. Who the fuck knows? Who, who the fuck knows? You can't say, oh, that's never going to happen. You don't know shit. Anything can happen in football. That's it. Especially if this whole thing goes tits up for the next year or two and Kane's like, fuck it, I'm, I'm out. Sun goes, fuck it, I'm out. If you don't replace them with quality players or ready-made stars, what are you going to do? You're going to slip down the league. We ain't always got time to build, build, build. Some shit has to be done now. <laughs> I don't see nothing good at the moment. It's shocking. I don't care if Kane does come back in the next week or whatever they said. Maybe next week or whatever. So what? So fucking what? Supposed to put all our hopes on him in one game, are we straight away? Oh, he's going to save us. That's pathetic. That's fucking pathetic. Your team. It's a team game. You win as a team, you lose as a team. Don't just put it on Kane. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Either Mourinho will see out the season, but then straight away, I see, maybe next season, like, I think Levy likes an early sacking. Like, October, November, he'll be out the door. If it doesn't go right, still. Because you might see this season, Kane might come back, start making the team play a bit better. We might win that cup final, and that'll be like, oh, we won a cup. Fucking League Cup, whatever it's called, Carabao Cup. And that'll be the little shining light and saving his skin. Like Arsenal was doing for ages, keep winning these FA Cups, like, f fluke all the time, fluke, fluke, fluke. And then it was saving Wenger's... I'm talking about back when Wenger was in charge. Now they've done it recently again. It's still, it's still weirdly fluke. I don't know what's going on. But it's not right. So anyway, we might win this cup. It'll save his skin. Mourinho, I'm talking about. And then next season, he'll get sacked. Then we've got to start all over again. New manager, new philosophies and all this shit and whatever systems. Way of playing. The man, the player's getting like, again, another manager. We've got to learn a new style or new training and all this shit. <sighs> you know, I began on 15 minutes. I don't even feel like I've got... I want to talk for about an hour one day and just moan the fuck out of it. Because this is stupid. <sighs> After we conceded that penalty, I turned off the game for about like another 10, just 10 minutes. It was that I couldn't... I got angry. Just like... You... Prefer, you, you even watching the first 15 20 minutes it was just shit anyway but I never, no one's using their brain no players are using their brain or anything I thinking a little bit oh I need to do this maybe I should change it or whatever just think even some of the marking as well 
Aurier Hoiberg as well. Because when the ball was getting played, like in the channels behind our fullbacks, yes, Soko tried and Hoiberg does try, but there's one or two moments I was like, they've looked like they've got 15 yards of space all around them. Hudson Adoy and whoever else was just Alonso. It was it's very poor at the moment. It ain't good, is it? It's not satisfying, of course. Anyway, that's enough of this fucking shit. I'm going to bed with the fucking hump. <laughs> As I'm sure we all are. No, oh, whatever. I can't I don't even care who we got next. I'm not even I don't care. I'm fucking angry. I don't I've just lost they're making me lose my love. And I love football but making me lose my passion for Tottenham at the moment. Big time. It's ain't on. I didn't even feel this bad when Pochettino was making Tottenham play this bad. I don't know I don't know why, but this is this is feels worse. <laughs> it's gone real bad. Like real fucking bad. <sighs> Whatever, I don't know what. Anyway, that's enough of that video.